New at 10, a Jacksonville woman is on the verge of reopening her food truck after a devastating fire almost two years ago. It destroyed her truck and left her with severe injuries. News for Jack's reporter Aaron Farrar shows us Anna Coleman's road to recovery and a new beginning. Anna Coleman is devoted to the work she does in this food truck. This is my V-Spot restaurant. It's a food truck that Coleman serves vegan food from starting back in May of 2021. But what happened just two months later changed everything. A devastating fire. I had the door closed, the window was closed, so there was gas coming into the trailer and me not being well educated. Um, um, once I lit the pilot, explosion, gas explosion. While Coleman was running to put out the flames and prevent more explosions and further damage in the Jacksonville Farmer's Market parking lot where her truck is parked, she did not realize she was on fire. So there was a guy out in the parking lot and he was like, just drop on the ground and roll. And once I did that, I, 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 then that's when I realized I was on fire. My, everything was just, skin was just falling off. And Leaving Coleman with second and third degree burns all over her body. Recovery was nearly a two-month stay at UF Health Shands Burn Center in Gainesville in a year of rehab. I had to relearn how to walk. Um, I had to um, um, just move my body different, you know, different uh, things that you, you just take for granted and you just get up and just do. I just, I could not do it. Although she is still healing mentally and physically with more surgeries in the future, Coleman's truck is refurbished and ready to reopen for business. That's what Coleman wants to do. But I'm ready to get back out there, you know, so uh, because this is my passion. So. A passion to serve the people of Jacksonville the best way she knows how. Coleman's food truck is having its grand reopening next Saturday right here in this parking lot outside of the Jacksonville Farmers Market. That will be at 2.30 next Saturday afternoon. Reporting, I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, the local station. Coleman said she wants everyone to learn from her mistake, saying that when cooking with gas in an enclosed space, she says make sure there is ventilation, including having windows and doors open, and consider inventing, investing rather in a gas sensor.